So here today we have our 57 Coronet four-door. What you're looking at seems to be the rest of uh, what's left of the original paint. Some pretty badass patina if you ask me. Took mother nature over 50 years to do this. So uh, to try to replicate it, not that simple. If it were my car and I were to keep it, I would uh, modernize it some, modern drivetrain. AC, leave the outside just the way it is. I wouldn't even touch the outside. And maybe tires and wheels, that's about it. And I would do the interior, throw a trunk mat in the trunk, call it a day. Just drive the piss out of it. Really neat car. So, Shown in the auction, there's rockers, got some rust. Rear quarter panel got some rust. It's hard to see in this picture with this lighting, sorry. But, you know, I think actually the floors survived better than I thought, but I don't know, I have to double check. They might not be that great. But for the most part, it's been in Texas its whole life, and then Arizona, and um, we've had it for a while here. And uh, let's look inside the trunk, shall we? It's here. How do I do that? That's right, the trunk doesn't latch. Quarter panels. Trunk. You know, this isn't the best video with this lighting, but there are pictures that show way better what's going on on this vehicle. It's a miscellaneous trim. It looks like it probably belongs to it. But the channels look okay. I got a little bit of cancer right there. Yeah. But I mean, what do you want? It's a 57, folks. And they're not necessarily growing on trees anymore. I think this actually survived fine. It'd be okay. I'll pop the head here in a second. And this door opens. What I wanted to see was the. Uh, Oh yeah, the floor's definitely got some rust from the plastic floor mats. So take apart the interior some, repaint it, reupholster it, throw some floors in it if you feel like it. Probably wouldn't hurt. Let me see the back here. Gotta love those rubber floor mats. Yeah, that one's pretty crusty. I don't know. Honestly, depending on what you plan on doing with the car, you might be able to just leave them alone. Just drive it with new upholstery and stuff. That's kind of cool. It's not a radio delete car, which is kind of cool. There's the of course. Let's prop the hood. This door open. This door's not opening, that's right. Might open from the inside, I'm not sure. Huh. Let's pop the hood. Again, it's kind of hard to see with the uh, lighting the way it is. But, Looks like the original 230, I think it is. 3.8 liter, basically. Stripper is missing. But everything else looks here. Looks like it's here. Generator. I think I've had this battery out. This battery's junk. I'm pretty sure I've had this out, yeah. 
what I need here. It's actually still pretty solid. Nice. Original voltage regulator, so that was cool. Some of the original stickers and stuff. Original one barrel carburetor, it looks like. Original radiator. Pretty cool. Beautiful car, no matter how you look at it. And you know it's beautiful because you're looking at the video or the auction, probably. There's that good old tag. And, uh, what else? Let's go and look at this thing. Oh, let's try to open this door. I think this door opens. Is door open? Not anymore. Is door open? All right. The so two out of the four doors open relatively okay. Back here is actually not so bad. Oh good, an ashtray. Perfect for today's today's kids. We saw that earlier in the pictures, but the quarter, you know, the, it's actually not bad. Definitely got worse back there. Maybe patch bit, or maybe like I said, just leave it alone. Why fix the rust? It ain't worth it. It's just more fun to drive around like this. Let people think what they want to think, right? But you know what? I promise you drive it around like this, running and driving nice, even with a freaking cracked glass, nobody would care. People would still love and flock to this car. That's why it's almost worth keeping that original engine, I guess. But there's something to be said about having an extra 100 horsepower out of a modern engine. So, uh, you know, 300 in this car, horsepower would be nice compared to the original like 130. Plus the amenities like air conditioning. I don't see any power steering. I don't see any power brakes. So it's kind of a base model car. Windshield looks good other than it's got a little star right there. The rest of it actually looks very usable and savable. So we're done looking at this. Yeah. You probably uh, steel wool that bumper and get some a lot of the surface rust off. Just leave it alone. This trim's pretty nice. This trim's all there on this side. Just look at that fin, people. That looks really complete. Trim looks like it's all there. The fact that this car has cut off its trim is actually pretty amazing. And it's in really nice shape, other than a little bit of pitting right there. So there you go. 57 Coronet four door. I think this was the only year it had that little light inside by the headlight. A really neat story about that, like. Uh, DOT didn't want him to have it or something, so I don't know. It was only a one-year thing, I think. You could Google it and find out more, but I should know more about it now, but I don't. Anywho, glad you checked it out. Nice sunny day in Tucson, about 75 degrees. And it's uh, still kind of winter here. Thanks again for watching. And uh, we'll definitely see you on the next one. Oh, you know what? Real quick. Sorry. I got pictures of underneath it, but still. Oh. For shits and giggles. There's drive trains. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Side here. All right. There you go. I'm done. I'm out of here. Watch this for the next car. We've got some cool stuff coming up in the near future, next 30, 45 days. Stuff you're gonna like. Thanks again.